This first on two at four o'clock, a SciFair ISD teacher accused of having inappropriate contact with a student. School leaders learned about it after a parent brought it to their attention. According to court documents, that teacher, Alfredo Campos, taught math at Cypress Ridge High School. And that's where our Sion Rhodes is joining us live tonight with what investigators are saying about this teacher-student relationship. Sion? Well, inv investigators are saying it was much more than inappropriate contact. They're calling it sexual assault. The girl telling investigators that, in fact, she was afraid to come forward because she thought the teacher might fail her and he had threatened to commit suicide. Mr. Campos, you are here because there have been two warrants issued for your arrest. 30-year-old Alfredo Campos in court early Monday morning after his arrest on two counts of sexually assaulting one of his students. The news spread quickly at the school where he's taught math the last four years. It made me feel weird because I never thought it would happen at our school. It was a parent of another Cypress Ridge student who anonymously tipped off the assistant principal on November 2nd after learning about the relationship from their child. When detectives questioned the teenage victim, she said starting in November 2015, she communicated with Campos through social media and that he once sent her a photograph of himself in boxers asking if she would send a photograph of herself. She also said he sent messages asking her to go away with him for the weekend and that she took screenshots of those messages. When investigators confronted Campos, he said the girl was just his student but later claimed he had fallen for her and that they'd had consensual sex at least twice in his car at Bear Creek Park. Sad because parents, parents trusted him to teach his students and he shouldn't have took advantage of that. And it's just disrespectful. A spokesperson for Cypher ISD says Campos was immediately removed from campus and in a statement said, violations of student trust will not be tolerated. We fully support the swift prosecution of anyone caught compromising student safety. And tonight, Cypher has placed that teacher on administrative leave. He remains behind bars at the Harris County Jail on bonds totaling $60,000. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you.